Hey everybody, I am bringing you a Christmas drink this morning that is going to help us celebrate the fact that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and I've proven that already in Purgatory, and so I've got a drink to celebrate. First came to me from the Black Rifle Coffee Company, but I've made it my own. I've absorbed it into my being. It is now part of my official Christmas traditions, and I'd love to share it with you guys. Let's get rolling on this. It's very simple, but we're going to start with the hardest part first, and that's to make some candy glass okay let's be clear in the end if you remember the part of the movie in the die hard first movie the glass that bruce willis character john mcclain had to walk across in bare feet we're gonna get that into this drink okay so first thing we got to do is we got to make some candy glass so two cups of white sugar candy thermometer water that's one cup of water that's three quarter cup of water and a third Two thirds of a cup of clear lily white corn syrup. Okay, so that's two cups of white sugar, three quarter cup of water, two thirds of a cup of lily white corn syrup. And then we're just gonna put that on the stove, stir it up until it hits 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, we're at the stove. Here we are, we got the candy. Uh, crystal glass, sugar glass going. We're at about 155 degrees. It's got to get up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit on the candy thermometer. That's that's the hard crack phase. That's what we want. We want shattered glass effect. Okay, this is going to be worth it. Promise. It's going to be worth it. Okay, we are rocking to 300. We're there at 300. So remove your candy thermometer. And you should have a cookie sheet with wax paper. And now just pour the liquid candy glass on the wax paper. And make it nice and thin if you can. The thinner the better, it gives you a better effect, but it's gonna it's gonna spread out. So that's that's good. You don't have to get it to cover the whole pan. Now we just leave that to harden for about two hours and uh, that's going to be our prop. And then I'm, I'm going to show you the rest of the drink. Okay, this is the easy part. And now if you're a purist, you're going to make this a little harder on yourself. You're actually going to make yourself an eggnog uh, on the stovetop or even like raw eggs. That's, I've, I'm there. That's what I do. It's good, right? But you could just go with Dairyland eggnog and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so first things first, ice. Just four, three or four cubes, your eggnog, Bloop. your spirit of choice. Uh, this is some Jim Beam, okay? Whatever, bourbon, rum, whatever you like. So, and here's where it gets special. This is cold brew coffee. Two ounces or so of cold brew coffee. Bloop. Put a lid on it, give it a shake. Okay, because we're in Canada, we can do the rapid cool method with our sugar ice or our sugar glass. Okay, so I put this outside in the snow uh, like 20 minutes and it's ready to go. Okay, so you got it on your cookie sheet. Now all you're going to do is you're going to lift your cookie sheet up and you're just going to drop it. How fun is that? Ooh, we got some stickage. Okay, you got your sugar glass nice and separated, some good long sharp shards simply going to pour yay so take a, a nice long sharp shard now here's the piece de resistance that just makes the effect right here oh yeah that's reminiscent to the movie and if you know you know there you have it. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I proved it. Here's a drink to celebrate. I hope you guys enjoy this. God bless you guys. And yippee-ki-yay, Merry Christmas.